I just wanted to say how heartbroken I am that I can't be with you all tonight on this auspicious occasion. I'm, I'm stuck here in Hawaii, Honolulu, in a one-year contract, and, and, and I'm really gutted that I, I can't share this moment with all you guys. I really... <laughs> Thank you so much for, for this award. I'm, I'm sorry I can't be there to collect it in person, but I'm, I'm really, truly, deeply touched. Even to be nominated as being the most insufferable, opinionated, pretentious, loudmouth of our era was a passive pleasure. But to win, to actually win against such deserving and distinguished contemporaries is an absolute delight. No name or pack drill. You know who you are. Thank you so much. I'm I'm overjoyed. If in a rather British way. Thank you. But today is not about me. <laughs> you know how difficult it is for me to say that. Okay, we cut it later. Today is not about me. Today is about Mr. Charlie. James Terence Charlie and I said grapes. Grapes, it's a kind of bark and it cut. But today is not about me. Today is about Mr. Charney and his wonderful book. His songs. What, what is that? That's your drink. Do you not say anything wrong with your drink, songs? No, no. Perhaps you're not noticing something that isn't there. Uh, the umbrella. It's not an umbrella, it's a parasol. And there's also something else missing, have you noticed? There's no cherry songs. No cherry and no parasol. Do you know how that makes me feel? Do you know how that makes me feel? It makes me feel terribly alone. And will you stop that? It makes me feel as if no one cares. It makes me feel absolutely, oh, get out of here. God save me from it, oversensitive people. Anyway, Mr. Charney, here's to the launch of your wonderful book, God bless her and all who sail in. It's not the same without a cherry.